Good afternoon everybody. So today I'm super excited. I've got this Aniviuk Skin 3. Um, so many people have told me not to get a single skin wing for multiple reasons. Basically they say they are shit. Um, but when people tell you not to do something, what you do, you do it. So I was quite fortunate. It isn't brand new, but it's only got about 10 minutes flying time on it. And I got it as a bargain from one of the distributors in Italy. So before we start guys, I've written it down because I'm not very good at remembering numbers. Um, the weight of this is an 18 meter. The weight of it is 2.4 kilos, okay? The nearest wing I've got to this is a 17 meter 02, and that weighs 3.3 kilos. So straight away, a bigger wing, and you've already lost the weight of a bag of sugar. Okay, there is a lighter version of this, so this is a skin 3. There is a Niviuk skin 3P, okay? And the weight of that is 1.8 kilos. So to put that into perspective, you could have two skin 3Ps for the weight of one 17 meter zero two mini wing. Okay, um, the price for the skin three is 2,300 pounds, okay? That's on Flybubble. But what I have seen, you can get the skin 3P for exactly the same price. So if you need it lighter, you can get it for the same price as you could get this one, okay? So what I'm going to do guys, is I've not actually had it out of the bag yet, I've had it a couple of days, I've been itching to get it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it out now, we'll talk over my initial thoughts, we'll have a look at the wing itself, and then what I'll do at a later date is I'll, um, is I'll fly it, I'll do multiple videos on ground handling, launching, landing, thermaling, ridge soaring, all that good stuff, okay? Because I've not seen anything on the internet of somebody breaking it down. Loads of videos of people flying them, but nobody really explains what it's like. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get it out now. I'm mega excited about this. So I've gone for the, for the blue colour. I can't actually remember what the, the correct name is. They always come up with something clever, don't they? It's blue. So I'll get it out. A little, a little trick I was, I was shown online is do it like this if it's windy enough which i don't think it is use the wind like that go, go, go. so like i said guys it's an 18 meter so it's a little bit bigger than what i normally fly I am on the lower end of the weight range, okay? So on a single skin, what you ideally want to do is be middle to top end, so it's more, there's more weight pulling down on the canopy, so it's a little bit more responsive. Um, single skins are known to be a little bit spongy, okay? But again, like I said, I'll do that on a later video. We'll show some, some raw footage of um, what it's like to take off land. Um, on, on the smaller wings, there's a lot of brake pressure, so um, you can land quite easily. On these, I'm not expecting wonders, if I'm honest. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'll start from the risers up, we'll talk over the wing, and the main differences I can see between this and, and a standard, a standard wing. Pretty cool, isn't it? So um, what I'll do is pull these out. So if you come over here, guys, we'll talk from the bottom up. So straight away, obviously we've got the connection points there. Then here we've got the tr the, um, blah, 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 the trims. Okay, so what we have got is trims and speed bar. Okay, so obviously we've got the trims there. Then we've got speed bar here, but the range of motion in the speed bar is pretty much non-existent. The, um, the other wings, are the, the, the range is like this, it's, it's, it's fairly big. Um, on this, it's probably not not even worth doing. To be honest, with the trims, you'd, you'd probably be all right. This isn't the sort of wing you're gonna fly in high winds anyway. So um, just the trims alone, I think you'd be absolutely fine. So obviously we've got our A's, B's, C's, D's, and then the, um, and then the control lines. So the brake lines are on some dodgy little poppers. Excuse me one second, my phone's going off. Can't escape work. So 
like I said, guys, the, 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 um, the control lines, the brake lines, they're not on buttons, they're not on magnets, they're on little, little poppers, what are magnetised. So if you just zoom in and have a look at that. So they literally slot in like so, and there it's, it magnets, it sticks in. That's quite good, That's, that feels good. It's like something you'd expect from Apple. Straight in that I like that. Oh yeah, I could. I, it's worth the money just for that. Um, anyway, so like I said, you've got your A B's, your C's, your D's, your control lines, your trims, your um, your speed bar there. Then working up. These are sheathed guys. Okay, so these lines are sheathed. So if you just come a little bit closer and have a look at this, we go in from sheathed lines, which obviously they they tangle. You can unt untangle them easy we go to unsheathed lines and this is basically like cotton these are an absolute bloody nightmare to untangle my um i had a u-turn everest and every single line was unsheathed and i hated it so um what if you pack it properly and you're flying it in in low wind it shouldn't be too much of an issue so that's the lines that's the um that's the riser sets so the actual wing itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it back out because the wind's rolled over a little bit. And then we'll have a look. So we'll come to this edge. So from the bottom up, straight away you can tell you've got this, these ribs. Not, normally every wing's got this on the inside, you just can't see it because there's another layer going over the top. But due to this obviously being a single skin, it is exposed. So there's nothing new there. What it does is it goes from a single skin here to we've got our entry points here, our cell openings. So obviously the air rams in there and the air bleeds out of there. Okay, so basically this part will inflate to a certain extent and the rest of it will not. So it's it's not far off of a hybrid. If that, if that was a little bit further down and sealed, it would be a hybrid in my opinion. But obviously it's a single skin because the air comes in, it pisses out of there and the rest of it is like a bin bag. So that is the same guys all the way along. It has got ribs as well. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it had ribs, but it does. So like, like every other wing, you've got these really small Capri Sun straws or little little beams going all the way along so when you pack it make sure you're careful and you pack them together if they bend it's not good on the wing guys and it is a bit of an issue okay so that's that what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the grab the um grab the risers and i'm going to try and inflate it and just see what it looks like okay so i'll do that now but you'll have to give me a second because the lines over here are in shit state so this is what i was talking about before with the unsheathed lines it's a bird's nest already i mean they have only just got it out i'm sure it'd be easy to sort it is but this is the issue with unsheathed lines guys they get little knocks in them and it's an absolute nightmare so bear that in mind okay the way is designed for, for mountain descents or people want to climb it and they need to lose a lot of weight so if you're flying it low wind or pack it very well so there's not not any knocks in the lines Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video there. I'm gonna get all the lines sorted and then I'll inflate it. So guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna inflate the wing, have a look at the colors. Okay, the, um, the wind is about three miles an hour, so not a lot. Okay, and we'll see how we get on. I'm not hooked into a harness, so I've just got my A lines, then I've got my D and my controls, okay? So I'm just gonna fit already, guys, I'm noticing a massive difference. It wants to lay out in next to no wind at all, okay? There's, there's, there's no pressure. I can feel no pressure at all coming from the wing. To be honest, I don't expect any as a single skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a single step back holding onto the A's and hopefully it'll come up, okay? Straight away it comes up. Nice colors. Yeah, no pressure in it guys, which is fantastic. So, like I said, what I'll do is I'll do a video on this next week or the week after. So make sure you subscribe, watch the rest of that, guys. I'll get some flying in. I'll show you what it's like to ground handle, land, thermal. But it definitely wants to, it definitely wants to fly. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack it away now. 
so I'm gonna pack this away. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I will be in touch soon with more videos. Take care of yourself, goodbye.